Wow, these are some essential songs. And thank you for listening to the New Musical Alliance Radio Hour. I'm Mark Ramon, joined today by Mark Sherry and Violet House Thor. And you just heard Kill Switch Engage with The End of Heartache. Before that, Boy Harsher with L.A. And we started off with The Squires going all the way. <laughs> Let's talk about Kill Switch Engage. This is another act that has had a song in the songbook before uh, with their obviously incredible track, My Curse, from 2006. But yeah, we got End of Heartache in here as well. One of the biggest acts in modern metal right now uh, out of Westfield, Massachusetts. They really sort of pioneered what metal in the early 2000s would sound like, sort of defining the genre of metalcore as we know it. They've received three Grammy knobs, three top 10 debuts on the Billboard Top 200, back to back for three consecutive albums, no less. This song has 100 million, just closing in on 100 million plays on Spotify alone. Yeah, certified gold single and just over half a billion total plays across their discography. Ridiculously well known and one of the biggest metal acts just in metal. And it's amazing that they, you know, come from right here in Westfield. And obviously this track is pretty legendary. I remember hearing this one on the radio all the time when I was in high school. And it still hits today. I really like these guys because, you know, to me, they have a lot of, you know, a lot of melodic music in, in their songs. And it's, uh, you know, it's it's not uh, your average metal band obviously with 100 million listens a lot of people agree it's not your average metal bands yeah they're they're huge obviously they're they're currently playing all over the world mexico australia the uk but they still play in the u.s every now and then too so keep an eye out for them you might see them around here and before that we had um boy harsher doing la and i know that's a band close to your heart violet oh yes absolutely I'm glad we were starting to get some electronic representation in the songbook, and I'm very, very glad that we got Boy Harsher out of Northampton, Massachusetts, to sort of represent the electronic music scene around here. These folks are genuinely incredible. They've racked up millions of plays and a touring schedule that leads them all over the world, building up a really strong cult following over the last decade or so. They also both come from a bit of a film background. They've even written, produced, and scored a short film titled The Runner, which released a couple years back. Not to mention that they have a track featured on the recent movie Halloween Ends, like part of the Halloween franchise. You you might know it. (laughs) It's the birthplace of slashers. It's they are incredible. (laughs) One of one of the uh, best known dark wave acts in probably in the scene. Big fan of that sort of 80s goth influence with those danceable beats, but still having that moody atmospheric feel and those gorgeous vocals. I, I love what they do. I absolutely adore it. Some great synth. uh, It's got deep pounding rhythms. Kind of reminds me of the Pet Shop Boys and and Depeche Mode combined. Yeah, it's coming from that tradition. And this is a 2019 release by them. And the tune before that goes a little bit farther back. Yeah. (laughs) Back to 1966, the Squires from Bristol, Connecticut, doing Going All the Way. I'd never heard of these guys before, but honestly, that's a pretty good single. It's clearly drawn from like the British mod scene and it just it's a really solid track. I don't know. I liked it. This is classic uh, garage rock and we have Mal Thursday to thank for, you know, introducing this to us. Yeah, there's such an interesting track. They just really released that and it's kind of a classic of its era, even as the Squires really only were active for a couple of years. It's one of those hidden gems, you know? Yeah, this this tune to me is is uh, a, a great representation of the best of what was going on in 1966 in terms of, uh, you know, rock music. You know, you heard so many tunes like that back in the 60s. And to me, anything that, you know, was a huge, a huge hit in those days by people like uh, Hermits, Hermits, The Birds, all kinds of things, this this it's right in there with the same kind of power. Mm. Great tune. Well, that was a lot of fun listening to some great new tunes from the 2023 inductees to the Essential Western New England Songbook. And as you know from listening to the show, that that is our listenable anthology of 
many of the best songs ever written by artists from the Western New England area. And as you know, the Western New England area comprises down from Brattleboro, Vermont, through Western and Central uh, Massachusetts, and all the way down to the Connecticut shore. The songs that you heard today are only a small fraction of the 32 that were inducted into the songbook this year. And we are going to have two more shows that uh, we're going to have uh, the weeks of the 11th and the 18th of April, depending on what stations you're listening to. And we're going to have guests on that show whose songs have been inducted into the songbook this year. So it'll be a lot of fun listening to their perspective on those great tunes that uh, they wrote. Well, I want to thank you for visiting with us, and we hope you enjoyed some great original music from Western New England artists. I'm Mark Ramone here this week with Mark Sherry and Violet House Store. The New Music Alliance Radio Hour is brought to you by the New Music Alliance, a 501c3 nonprofit whose mission is to assist and advance the careers of talented, creative local musicians who write original music and to promote the extended Western New England area as a destination for original music writing, production, and performances. If you like what we're doing here on the show, tell your friends about it and like the New Music Alliance and Radio, Radio Hour on our Facebook pages. And don't forget to check out our website, newmusicalliance.org, where you'll find the extraordinary Essential Western New England Songbook, a listenable anthology of many of the best songs ever written by artists from Western New England. And while you're there, if you support the New Music Alliance's mission, we'd appreciate your making a donation or becoming a member or a sponsor. If you're a local Western New England musician who'd like to have your original music considered to be on our show, send links to your songs to newmusicalliance at gmail.com. Join us next week for more great original tunes from Western New England artists. And until next week, please stay safe and keep on listening to great original local music. And let's have Charles and Kali Neville take us out today with African Eyes.